is they used to really want to take the witch's heads. Like, literally cut the witch's head off, behead her, and take her head. That's what they used to want to do to the witches. Actually, it used to happen. Like, but, like I told you, that witch in hell, she's super famous. They stabbed her head onto a sword and left it like that. It's like that in, like, a museum. So, like I said, all the places that you ain't never seen in life, because you in life, you might want to listen to the people who actually know. Because I know about the treasures in hell. There's, like I said, there's a bunch of different treasures all around. But at the end of the day, you got to really think about this. Even though there's so many different treasures in hell, they have play, they they have like just one I just consider this one treasure. It's a castle that has so much gold and just it got mostly see this see this castle has a lot of things that's from earth. Like cause you have stuff that's from earth, you have stuff that's from other outside worlds because when people come back it's like a it's almost like when they come in the hell they come from a portal where they come with things that they brought with their mind or whatever just but it's just the castle has so much so much like valuables in it valuables it's literally in like a jungle with just poisonous snakes like you know what i'm saying but the castle is in the jungle like it's like a jungle type area, mountainous type area, because that's what I'm saying. And in, in hell, they got terrains like earth, like they got mountainous areas, they got like forests. But it's all about when you go through that portal where you're going in your mind, because, like I said, hell is one big place, like to the point where you can't miss it. Like when you die and go to hell, you're gonna go to the exact hell that I came from. Only thing is your mind creates it for you. Like it's just, it's almost like when you put a certain video game or you put a certain DVD in the play, you get what I'm saying? Like that's what you're going to get. Same thing with YouTube. If you type in something on YouTube, the, the results that's gonna come up is what you're gonna get. So that's how you're gonna end up in hell because it's an automated thing. That's why God don't ever have to feel bad about sending people to hell. People send themselves there. So all of that, that valuable stuff, there's a whole, whole bunch of just like half dead, sick, poor people living right next to the treasures, right next to the forest. Like basically people get bit by shit and bit by animals and snakes and they die because it's, the snakes bite the animals. So it's like, it's so tainted in that forest. It's just a poisonous forest. But that's why it's like, it's history behind how the, how the fuck that castle got there. It's history behind that. But I'm not, I'm not telling you the history behind it because I just want you to understand that it's a, castle full of treasures with a forest full of snakes poisonous snakes around it in hell so there's people who come back and know specifically look it up there's people on the internet that was like oh i was that person in my past life they look up the records they find out oh this person said he lived in london and he was this age when he died and he had this kind of car this kind of car they look it up and they found out yeah that was right that was correct a lot of people have woken up and realized that that's a glitch in the system that they came from their past life and they remember it now. Because that's a gift for most for most divine beings, you know what I'm saying? So, But it's nothing but suffering there. Nothing but suffering. And this is why I'm saying I was born to do my job, be the devil. So it's like, this is just my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, this is my life. Like, you know, to this is why I can have almost a thousand videos. And this is, 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 is it's, it seems like it's hard to do, but it's, it's easy for me. You know what I'm saying? But it is hard to learn.
So understand, it ain't nothing but suffering. You see how, like, in the Wizard of Oz, like, when the when the witches die, like, well, it's an evil witch, it's a wicked witch, and then it's a good witch. You see how when she die, she melts? Like, that's coded, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, in a movie, she melts. And on Earth, a long time ago, during the medieval times, when they chased the witch down... See, witches used to have the magic. That's the only reason they used to live so long. Some some of these witches died and came back as a bird. You know what I'm saying? And then found another body after that. Like, you know, live live for a good 10, 20 years and then find another body. And then, you know what I'm saying? That These witches being mortal. You know what I'm saying? So, But that's why they really used to want to catch a witch and tie her to a tree butt naked and let her on light her on fire. That's why. But basically, let me tell you who used to do shit like that. Guess who used to do shit like that? Christians. Christians used to be the ones who be chasing witches down. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, you can't y'all can't be using magic in our town. They'll go up there. That's why most of the witches in towns they used to live on the outskirts, like in like a farm area or the mountains because like witches just couldn't be in the society of of religious people because they look at witches as like they're the devil. That's why witches are so close to me because this is what this is what everybody else think that they worship. But it's not nothing to worship because the only thing to the devil really worship is God. So I'm going to tell you everything that God wants you to know. That's why about stories in hell like that, like that's why you think people coming on YouTube and telling you about these stories, they went to hell and they seen the devil with them because that's God doing that. So like I said, in the horn for confirmation in the background, as soon as I said that, the horn went off crazy. That's the universe speaking. So like I said, you got to understand, they used to chase witches down till they couldn't breathe. Tie them to a tree and light them on fire. And there used to be Christians doing that. That's what I'm saying. So you got to watch out what you signing yourself up for. You know what I'm saying? Because you keeping that same energy over your head. It's the same thing. This is why Kim Kardashian and Kanye West all of a something left Balenciaga. Because they didn't know what was happening in the background. That's what I'm saying. You got to watch what you're attaching yourself to. You get what I'm saying? That's why Kim K sat there and she quit her job. You get what I'm saying? Because she don't want her name attached to that. Any anything, it, it don't matter what it is. It's I don't want my name attached to something that's bad. And this is what people gotta learn. That's how you know she's a witch. She's spiritual. You know what I'm saying? She was like, uh uh-uh, uh, they niggas ain't chopping my head off because I'm involved with this company. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 how witches are. That's why they live up in the mountains, they live in the in the in the, in the farmlands. Or they just or nowadays witches live right in your city, but you know what I'm saying? A lot of... They live right in the city. They just ain't gonna let you know they do magic. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a long tradition on people coming for witches because they gifts. So, same thing with wizards. Wizards, they a lot of them be by themselves. Wizards, master magicians... You know, a lot of them, a lot of wizards and master magicians follow this page too. Like, date master magicians? <sighs> you don't understand. Master magicians are super psychic. Super, super psychic. Like, yeah, the devil is super, super psychic, but you gotta understand. Master magicians, that's all they really worry about is their psychic abilities because they need to be able to really see. You know what I'm saying? They have to be seeing into the other realms. You know what I'm saying? For them to even set up the, the magic the way they want. Because they master magicians. You get what I'm saying? They magic. What they do, they not setting up magic that's going to 
they're going to set up magic that's going to penetrate the surface. Any magic, any, any, any master magician on this earth, and it's plenty of them. It's, I mean, I'm not going to say plenty, but you know what I mean. Like, it's only one antichrist, but, you know, you know, so <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So you got to understand what a master magician really is. Just like a, a, a top wizard. Man, you don't know, like, you can't even do, you can't even do magic on a master magician or wizard. That's what I'm saying. Only, only people who could really do magic on a master magician or, or a wizard, a real wizard is a witch. That's the only one is because there's witches that's more powerful than master magicians and wizards. But it's from their their closeness with God, like God, like witches from birth, they hear what God is saying, literally, they hear what God is saying from birth, like they literally could they, like they're tapped into what God is saying, like they they could just literally hear God in their head. Some of us have to fight 10 to 15 years to be able to hear God's voice. Witches could just, I want to hear God right now. That's all they got to do. Do a little moon magic. I want to hear God. And then they hear him. That's what I'm saying. So witches is one of the most powerful beings that is just in the whole mystic realm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got some people that's humans, but they got unicorn energy. Like, everything they do works. Like, everything, they, they, they just got magic. Like, everything is just magical that they do. You know what I'm saying? That's that unicorn energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got fairy energy. You know, fairies, they keep you healed. They, they you know what I'm saying? They heal you. That, all these Disney movies, they show you all of this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... You should have been learned this. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes a lot of people be having these skills, but they don't be knowing because they was already had them. You get what I'm saying? But when you when you first hear God, you're going to drop to your knees and hit the floor. You're going to be like, I couldn't believe. Like, you're going to literally get scared when you hear him because you never heard him before. Never. I'm the devil, and I only get to hear from him when he want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't like you don't really get a direct message like that from God too often. Like some people do, but that's that's people that's like some of these girls that you see online that eleven eleven and they be teaching and stuff like that and they, they super super close with the angels. That's the people that really hear God a lot. But for the most part, when God wanna use magical communication with you he uses the universe and your surroundings around you he would even use somebody else's voice like he'll say something out somebody else's mind to to put him give you a message so you got to understand that so witches are very 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 powerful you know what i'm saying and they're very close with god which a lot of witches is honorable with god that's why a lot of people back then they didn't like witches because witches had that extra they had that extra psychic ability to, to just be able to communicate with God, you know? So they already knew a lot of witches that was famous a long time ago. I mean, Kim K is a witch and she famous. She don't even think she is as famous as she is. That's what, that's the weird thing about, that's the thing about Earth, a lot of earth angels, like people that's on this earth and they hear that make the change, they don't even realize how famous they are, like, I think everybody think that Kim K is one of the best, you know what I'm saying, I mean, along with Marilyn Monroe, but she don't, I don't feel like she really think that she's, like, the best, you know what I'm saying, but it's just so many other celebrities around this world that's just so much bigger than her, that she just don't really realize that some people just favored her. But it's witches that had castles. Like, you got to understand. Go look at that movie, Elvera. El Elvera. 
she was living out in the mountains and she was in a castle. Like, I'm telling you, this castle was so magical. That's what I'm saying. That's how it really is. Like, you got, you really got witches living in big ass castles. Like, and everything, like, some of them been living for a long time. That's what I'm saying. Like, some of these witches, when you see them, they got black hair, but they immortal. So, a lot of the times, if they doing rituals and shit like that, and they, and they, if they chosen, a lot of these witches already, some of these witches is over a thousand years old. And then they, sometimes they, they, they leave and then they come back in another body. Yeah, obviously, but some of them is actually living to 200, 300. You get what I'm saying? Just, just like the elites live. You know what I'm saying? They, because basically the witches are elites. The witches are elites, but they not gonna, they're not trying to govern nothing. You get what I'm saying? Because they're governing their own life and having their own magic. So you gotta understand how that works. So witches is just, they powerful, but you see how they melt the witch in the Wizard of Oz. When she dies, she melts. That's why, that was a symbolization of, in the movie, it's coded, but basically they used to set them on fire because that's how special they was. With witches and the black cat and the green skin and also the broom, there's a deep meaning between all of those, all of those. The green skin has something to do with the witch being chosen, but it also it also represents how you can be evil or good. That's a choice, but it's all gonna it's all gonna end up coming with a consequence because it's how people look at you through God. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's why. But the black cat, the black cat is like. Letting you know about your intuition, your psychic abilities, the matrix. That's why Neo, when he was walking down that hall, when he seen that black cat, that's why in the movie, it's no mistake that it was black and white floors on the floor when that cat was walking. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, you got to understand to be able to see these signs. That's just, that was just obvious. Like, you know what I'm saying? If somebody's door, I open it, be like, wait, they have black and white floors in a black cat? That's what I'm saying. And then witches is also... Witches, like, most witches could go without, like, basically getting physically sexual. Like, even though they even though they got a lot of sexual energy, like, a lot of witches, like, if you see them today, they're going to look very nice. Like, a lot of witches, very nice looking, or... You get what I'm saying? Like you, you, you'll just know that the the energy because they know because they know basically everything about sex magic. So it's like they already know how to look beautiful. They already know how to look good. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that's what the broomstick is about. It's showing you that she has a broomstick. She don't need a man. She don't basically all her magic can be done without a man being around. That's why the, if you see look up witches and then you see all right they ride on broomsticks the broomstick that's representing that they don't need no man you get what i'm saying like that's just a reminder you know to to let you know that basically if a witch chooses you that means she choosing you you get what i'm saying like she's not getting you because she has to have you you know what i'm saying so that's the best part about a witch because a witch in their mind they already know how to be independent you get what I'm saying? It's not even about like, oh, she know how to get money. She know how to get caught. No. Basically, being honorable and in, 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 in knowing who God is and bringing in those messages that God wants us to have so we can speed up this 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 time that we're in. We need all of these messages and these codes to be solved. So like I said, the black cat is all about psychic and intuition. That's why even on the tarot cards, you'll see some of the psychic cards and be like, all right, they got black cats on them. They even got witch decks, obviously, but that's obvious. But 
You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you got to really understand. It's the same thing with offerings. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's why, like, in hell and shit like that, you're not really allowed to have money. If demons are more powerful you than you and their rank is higher, you not supposed to have money. You supposed to be poor. That's how, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? With the demons in hell. That's why in church, they tell you, give us an offering because there's a demon inside the church that wants the offering that that basically there's a demon in the church that feels like you deserve to be broken he deserves to have the money you know what i'm saying and that's not all churches but i'm saying most churches that's why they pass the bucket around three or four times you get it they pass the bucket around for you to put money in it three to four times why do you got to pass the bucket around three times? I thought if we give y'all money in the bucket once, I thought that was enough. But that's with an offering. And that's how you know it's a de demonic spirit in the, in the, in the room. Because that's just like, that's just like, that's just very demonic. You get what I'm saying? But I mean, but... The magic that they use on you, if you don't put the money in a bucket, you're going to go home feeling guilty because you know, because you know that God see you and give shit. So I'm just saying it, it don't matter if you gave it or not. It's about if you wanted to give it, if you if you have it, give it. But if you don't have it, as long as you really wanted to give it in your heart, that's all God really care about. You know, it's just like.